Keely, Anna. And the school? St. Francis. So what's your project all about? It's about the radioactive emissions in food products and what type it is and if there's like any risk in eating the radioactive foods. Um, so what made you choose this project? And we were learning about um, Chernobyl. And um, we just thought it would be good because of the radiation in it. And we thought, would Ireland be radioactive and how would it affect other people? So is this specifically radiation that has come from Chernobyl then? Um, not just Chernobyl, there's radon gas naturally in the ground. Um, Fermanagh is pretty high in radon gas. So there was always radiation here, but it's more in County Down and Donegal in the mountains that the Chernobyl would have affected. And doesn't radon gas only come out of certain rocks, is that right? Um, shale rocks. So tell me how you actually went about uh, proving what you did. Um, we measured out um, 20 grams of food and we put it in a Gregor Muller counter and it counted the amount of um, radioactive particles and turned them into electric charge which created a click and then each click represented a count and then you do that three times and take an average. And what did you find? And we found out that certain foods were higher, such as bananas, parsnips, liver and Brazil nuts. And have you any idea why that might be? Um, the liver, we think, is might be because of the Chernobyl and because the sheep live in the mountains. And then the carrots and the Brazil nuts, it's just because of the gases in the ground. Finally, just tell me how important you think it is for students like you to study STEM subjects at school. It's just a great variety of subjects and you, there's always something you're going to be good at or like. Or... Thanks very much and good luck in the, in the judging. Thank you. Thank you.